Welcome to a very old school YouTube video. definitely become a tote bag kind of girl over the last few weeks. I think it's because I used to carry around so many micro and mini bags. I am an avid overpacker and that applies to everything in my life, whether I'm traveling internationally or domestically, even just for a weekend trip, I will always overpack because I want to be over prepared than under prepared. And I think that applies to what I carry around in my everyday tote bag. This is centered around like my everyday work tote bag, but that's really because I just have a laptop in there. I want to start with my tote bag collection. Like I said, I have a ton of micro and mini bags in my collection, but I've slowly been starting to grow my tote bag. A few of my favorites. This tote bag I got from Paris. I'm sure you guys have seen that famous bookstore. Um, it's called OFR Paris and they sell a lot of cute knickknacks, one of them being tote bags. They also sell really cute baseball hats as well. But this is just a standard tote bag. I do like that it comes with a button snap closure so you keep your things secure. It's made of denim so you can pair it with really anything. So I really like this bag and it also reminds me of my trip to Paris. Then I have this fancy tote bag. This is actually exclusive from the Gucci Garden in Florence. You can only get it there and I figured while I was making my trip out there, I wanted to bring back something that's special to Florence. So I opted for this tote bag that I think would be perfect for spring and summer. The colors really pop and it makes a statement to your outfit. So I really like this too. It's also really sturdy. It does hold a ton of stuff. The quality is really great. I don't think that it's gonna break anytime soon because it's very sturdy. And the inside has a really pretty design too. It just says Gucci Garden. And then the other side has the symbol of Florence. So I thought that was really special. This is the Celine Sangle tote bag. This bag is actually the first bag to introduce me to tote bags and the reason why I fell in love with them so much. And it's technically not a tote bag, it's a bucket bag and I put an insert inside the bag so I can help keep my things organized. But this is like one of the first bags that made me get interested into bigger bags in general because this thing fits so much and it's so comfortable to wear over your shoulder because of the thick strap. Pockets in the front and the sides and the back are also all functional. It is one of my favorite big bags in my collection. And then this is so random but when I placed my Cezanne order online, it came with this tote bag and I attached this little bunny key ring on it that I got from Korea. It's so cute because it's wearing a little bikini and it has the little star clip on the ear. I'm pretty sure there was a second star clip but I don't know where that went. So this is your basic everyday tote bag. I wear this out when I just kind of want to fling my bag around and not really care about it. I have worn this in the summertime when I'm commuting to work so it is pretty comfortable. It does fit my laptop and it's really really roomy because it's just a huge piece of fabric that's woven together. Being that it was a GWP, I was really surprised at the quality of this tote because I've been wearing it a ton and I see like no signs of wear. And last but not least, this is the newest tote bag in my collection. This is a Polen scene bag in the normal size. They do have one size smaller, but I opted for this size because it does fit a laptop. If you watch my New York City vlog, you'll know that I got this pretty recently, but ever since I got it, I've just been wearing it nonstop because it's so functional. After I have it for a few months, I'll do a full-on review about it. I'm excited because I have a lot of things in here that you might not think to put in your bag, but will find useful for when you need them. So I'm gonna uncover everything that's in my bag. This is totally unfiltered, and maybe it'll give you some insight inspiration for things that you can keep in your bag. So let's get started. Like I said, the major selling point for me was that it fits my laptop. I have the 13 inch MacBook and it fits really comfortably in here. I don't have to like try to make room for it. And what's nice about this tote bag is that it actually comes with a little zip pouch that's attached to the inside of the bag and so in here I just keep all my important necessities and it does fit quite a few stuff so first thing I have in this pouch is my Chanel card holder I got this in Paris last summer and have been using it ever since and I'm not gonna lie the quality is still pretty good like it doesn't even look like I used it even though I stuff it to the brim I think this was a really good purchase especially because I got it at a lower price in Paris and then I have my 
AirPods. I never leave my house without my AirPods. And this cute little flower case is from Velvet Caviar. And it comes with this cute heart-shaped hook as well that you can attach to your things. If I leave my AirPods at home, I'm the type of person to go back to get it because I hate commuting without my AirPods. Last thing that's in this pouch is my digital camera and I heard that this one has a very similar effect to like the Canon GSM next with the flash on and I do not regret this purchase at all it's totally worth it and it takes really good pictures I would say it is comparable to the Canon G7X because I did used to have that camera um, but yeah I think this is a lot more lightweight it takes amazing pictures so I really like it that's what's in my pouch and then on to my other pouch. I think it's important when you have a tote bag that's this big to have little pouches here and there to divide up your things. So this pouch I actually got as a gift with purchase from Dior Beauty. And I got this pouch because I wanted to get their hand lotion and the famous Dior Lip Glow. But to be honest, I got these products because they looked cute and I am a sucker for packaging. But honestly, the hand cream is actually really good. I usually don't like using hand creams because I don't like the greasy feeling, especially when I'm typing at work and then it leaves like the greasy fingerprints on the keyboard. I hate that. So I really like that this one just absorbs really quickly into the skin and doesn't leave any residue. And then this is the Dior Lip Glow for chapped lips. It's like good. I don't think it's anything special, but it does help my chapped lips. Then I have a handheld mirror. This is actually from Korea. I got it from a jewelry store called Numbering. They specialize in a lot of silver jewelry and I got this as a gift with- wow, so many gift with purchases today. I got this as a gift with purchase and I'm not gonna lie, the leather is really good quality. I, I'm pretty sure it's real leather because the quality is really good and the mirror is fine. It's not distorted at all. It's very accurate and I like the size of it because you could see your entire face. Next, I have these shot wipes, which I I need these all the time. Every time I go out to eat or even just at home, I will get food stains on my shirt. Like, no questions asked. I don't know how it happens. No matter how careful I am, I am going to get food stains on my shirt. And a lot of times, I like to wear like beige, white, pink, and always without fail, I will have a stain like right here. So I use these shout wipes to remove the stains like on the go. They're actually really good. I used to have the tie to go wipes, but then I didn't like the way that it smelled afterwards. Um, but these don't really have a strong scent. I also like that they're just one time use packets. So after you're done with them, just toss it out. I have a comb. I got it for free. <laughs> Thank you, Ashiana Airlines. If you have bangs, you'll know you need a comb. This little thing is such an interesting invention. If you're a content creator, it's the size of a credit card and you basically use this as a phone tripod. Watch, twist it, and then you pop these things up and it fits your phone. Like if you're filming anything in the restaurant and you don't have anywhere to prop your phone up, you just do this and start recording yourself. It's great. And it's so thin. I have nail glue because I wear press-on nails and sometimes I'll just pop off randomly. I don't have my nails on right now, but it just bothers me when I have press-ons and one of them falls off. It's not a good look. So I just carry around nail glue just in case. I have so much perfume in here because every time I shop at Sephora or something, they'll always give me these perfume samples. I have an actual deluxe sample of my Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt perfume and then I have four samples of random perfume that I got as another gift with purchase. Actually, I have five. But honestly, these are so good because they're so tiny and they're great for on the go. You never know when you need to freshen up. I have a cloud-shaped box cutter. A scrunchie, a band-aid, a need. This is a need. Another perfume sample, which makes it six. I have tweezers. This came in so clutch actually because you never know when someone or yourself is gonna have a splinter. You can come to the rescue with these. Also good for straight eyebrow hairs. And then I am actually shocked 
I only have four lip products in here and I think it's because this pouch is pretty small so I am limited but I used to carry around like eight lip products first I have this from Dr. Dennis Gross it's their plump and repair lip treatment this is the best lip plumper I've ever used I love my lip plumpers and the more tingly and stingy it is the more I like it and this one is so fun to apply because it literally looks like a needle and I get questions on what I'm using on my lips every time I use this it's just so fun and it actually works the plumping happens in like two minutes you feel a nice tingling sensation if you're kind of sensitive to that I actually don't recommend this it's pretty strong but if you don't mind that feeling I highly recommend this best lip plumper ever I have a lip tint if it's a lip tint it's 99% of the time going to be a Korean brand this is the Rome and vintage ocean lip tint this is so good I love Roman lip tints. I think they might be my favorite lip tint brand in Korea. And mind you, I have so many lip tints, so many lipsticks, so many lip glosses, but Roman lip products are by far, I think, in my opinion, the best. I'm gonna leave this linked down below because um, they have it in Yes Style and they do offer international shipping, not sponsored. It's just Roman lip products are seriously the best. And then I've been into glossy lips these days and this is the Tower 28 lip gloss. I really like their packaging. It's not sticky, it's a nice thin formula. And I have a actual chapstick from Paw Paw. I really love this Paw Paw brand for like extremely chapped lips. I used to have the one that's untinted and this one has a slight red tint to it. So I think it's really good for no makeup days. How many lip products am I putting on? It's nice and small and it comes in a nice tube formula so really easy to apply on the go. That's everything in- oh. I have a press on nail here. <laughs> and that's everything that's in my makeup pouch. Now the rest of the stuff that are in here are kind of random but are in need. So I have my mini compact umbrella. It's literally the size of my face. It's so tiny. I love it so much. And I have a tip for you if you're looking for travel compact umbrellas. If you're carrying around a big tote bag like this and your umbrella is like a neutral color or it's black, then you're gonna have such a hard time finding it because it's black. The reason why I got this sky blue color is because if it's raining outside and I quickly need to find my umbrella, the color pops so it's like you know you find it easily in this bottomless pit then i have mints oh my god oh my gosh my favorite hand sanitizer this is by touchland and i'm pretty sure i've talked about this several times in my videos i know it's just a hand sanitizer but listen it's so thin and it's so cute unlike a lot of other hand sanitizers this one actually smells really good i haven't smelled all the scents yet but this is the watermelon scent and it actually like it's like perfume it smells so good i don't know if anyone cares about this but it is a fine mist so yeah really good oh my i have my little iwalk charger this is an iphone charger and it's really handy because i used to have like those bulky portable chargers but now i can just carry this around it's so lightweight it's so small i literally carry it around with me everywhere and it just charges my phone like this so very nice and useful and last but not least I have an electric hand warmer my friend got this for me like a year and a half ago or something and oh my god it is so good like you just charge this and there's three heat settings there's low medium and high and the medium and high settings are really really hot so if you're in the middle of a blizzard and you turn this on, your hands are gonna be so warm. Sometimes I put it up to my face when my face is freezing because it really is so strong and it will keep you warm. Like, I'm about to stock up on these because I want one like on each hand. And it's really cute too. It's like a pink color and it's round and it's portable. It fits nicely in my hand and I really like it. Okay guys, that is everything that is in my Palen tote bag. I hope you guys enjoyed and found some inspiration. And I know I haven't really went into detail about this bag, but that's because I'm gonna save it for a later video when I do a full-on review about this bag. I know that this Palen seam bag has been like the Pinterest it girl bag of 
2023 and 2024 so I'm excited to do a full-on deep dive review on this I just want to make sure that I get some more wear out of it before sharing my whole thought but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed what I carry around with me in my everyday work tote I will link every single thing that I talked about in this video as best as I can in the description box so make sure you check that out and I will see you guys next time bye